Hi guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to create a project and manage a project in Quartus 2. So let's go ahead and just click right here, create a new project, this is on the opening window. Do uh, you want to select a working directory? It doesn't really matter what it is. Although as we see here, if we try to create one right here, get an error saying uh, that there's already a project in here. So ideally you do want to create a new folder for every project so you don't have uh, some conflicting files, but for now we're just going to leave it in there. Okay, so at this point you could add some files that you already have handy, if that's the case. So I'm just going to add some VHDL files I have right here. You don't have to do this step as well, um, but if you do already have the files, might as well add them. Okay, now at this point you want to select whatever device you're going to be uh, programming uh, on with the VHDL. So this step is also not necessary, you could just auto-select, but it does save you time for later when you have to actually program the device um, in the programming stage. <clears throat> uh, these options right here aren't too important for our purposes. Okay, so now we have our basic project set up, uh, but we don't have any top-level design entity yet. So what the top level design entity is, is basically what you'll be programming onto whatever board you're using. So that's how you're going to set your input output ports. And basically the center of your logic is going to be in your top level design file. So the easiest way I've found to set your top level design files, if let's say you already have uh, your file set up here in the files tab right here. You can just right click on whatever file is your top level entity. So let's say it's this VHDL code right here. And you set as top level entity right there. So now we have our top level entity there. And we can compile and run our code. Uh, if ever you want to change top level entity, that's very easy to do. You just do that again. There it is. Now, let's say you already have um, these files. That's great. But you want to add some new files to your project. You could either um, open a file, so going here, open, um, let's say you have a file somewhere, I already used that, let's say you have this file here, open it, then you can go into project, add current file to project, and you'll see it appear right there. Another option is if you're developing directly in Quartus, you could just do create new file, let's say we're doing a VHDL. Um, save it as whatever you want, and then do add current file to project here. So I didn't do anything yet, so but let's say. Let's say we had something similar to this in our new file. Save it wherever. And then it'll automatically add that file to your project actually. So you don't have to actually do a red current file to project, it's already there. Yep, so that's basically on creating and managing uh, projects. One important thing to note is that the location of these files is pretty much independent of your project location. It doesn't matter where your project is, um, you could reference files that are outside of that project in other directories and Quartus will take care of that for you. So let's say you're working on files common to two different projects. You could have them in both projects and it wouldn't be no problem at all as long as you know your edits don't conflict with each other. <clears throat>